Welcome to Extreme Lego Life, and today is a very special day for me because I was just walking around my neighborhood and with my friend, and he gave me this. He made these figures at New York when he was there on a trip, and at the Lego store, and these are awesome. I'm so thankful to him. So if you're watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. I I can't convey how much I want to thank you. This just this means so much to me. And I'm not just saying this because I'm on camera. It really does mean a lot to me to have someone give me something. And it, it just was really nice. So I'm going to open this and show you the three figs real quick. First figure is this figure. He might be my favorite. I don't know. I like all three of them. But um, I really like the look of him. I love this helmet. Um, I think it was from the Space Police line. Correct me if I'm wrong. And with that face, it's it's pretty sweet. Because I didn't expect it to be like that. And also, this sweet little uh, space ray gun thing. And then the dark blue... Outfit with the lettering on it for one second. I think it says L W or L V I Z. If you know what that means, comment below what that means. Um, but this is awesome. I love this figure, and these will all have a special place in my city. So here, let me get him his weapon. Next up is, I call him the Shakespeare King. I don't know, he kind of looks like Shakespeare to me. And also he has a little hatchet there. I like the peg leg on him. I love the hair. And the hair also kind of makes me think it's Shakespeare, although the face doesn't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I love this figure as well. I love the crown piece. That's so cool. Um. And, yeah, oh, <laughs> apparently he can stand on his head, too. It's like the new water bottle flipping, flipping the Shakespeare King. And I dropped him. But, um, yeah, I love the gold detailing on his torso. And these aren't super detailed um, reviews of these figures, but, um, I mean, they do the trick. So here, I'll just put this figures up there, and then the last figure is the little, I'll call him the New York patron, because he has the, here, let me move his yummy pretzel figure out, or pretzel piece out of the way, and you can see his torso with the New York uh, logo, or not logo, but the printing on there, which I love, that's so cool. Um, and those legs, I don't know where those legs come from, but I do like them. Um, also the nice hair, like grandpa hair, slash head mold piece thing, whatever you want to call it, which I, I love that. I don't have any of those yet, and I'm glad to be finally getting one. And I don't have any of these new hair hat molds, or hair helmet ha hat whatever you want to call them, molds, um, they're not that new, I guess, but new to me, at least, uh, but, yeah, I like that face, the nice grinning, of course, uh, also, like, none of these guys have alternate faces, which is absolutely fine, because all you'll be needing to see is one face, oops, sorry, um, setting him up there as well, this, oops, the pretzel, I'll set that by him. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at the packaging, which is right here. It's it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just like the plastic packaging with the, uh, I like the Lego figures, the mini, finger, mini fingers or mini figures. If you're a fan of Break Tech, you'll know mini fingers. But um, then all of these words that I'm not going to read to you because that would be like a, probably like a two hour 
video, especially trying to pronounce all these words in different languages. <laughs> and I don't know if I can read that. That section might be kind of difficult. The Japanese, Chinese area. But, um, and also, <laughs> yeah. That would be kind of interesting. And, um, there's like some Lego different things. The barcode here. And so that's going to be all for this review. Again, thank you so much for giving this to me. Um, and if you, yeah, so I guess that'll be all for this video. And I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.